live. Hey everyone, good morning. I am here to do some fabulous rock star toes. So I have gone ahead and prepped this. Let me see if I can back up a little bit here for you. There we go. All right, I've gone ahead and prepped her nails. They are ready to go here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Luxio base coat and apply this to all 10. Um, Luxio base coat will cure in 30 seconds in um, LED light, two minutes in UV. Let me get this on. The way that I do Rockstar Toes is a little bit different than how some people might do it. I know out there a lot of people like to sprinkle glitter on the toe for Rockstar Toes. I'm not a sprinkling glitter type of girl. It just makes too much of a mess and in the real world I don't have time for that kind of a mess. So I came up with a technique that works really, really well um, that's going to combine a coat of color, a coat of glitter, and a coat of sparkles, the chunkier sparkles. Let me just finish cleaning this up there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in the light, please. Go ahead, yep, you're gonna put that in the light, thank you. Hi Julie, how you doing? All right, so base coat. My client today is actually wearing a star sweater, so she is not only a toe star, but a rock star. This is um, a little bit tricky, this camera setup, so sorry if I end up bumping into it at all today. But I wanted you guys, my first coat, sorry guys, my phone is ringing, so it started making things go a little bit crazy. So I'm going to use this coat of Captive right here. So I'm gonna do one coat of Captive. Um, typically I will do one coat unless it's a color that goes on kind of sheer. Then I might do two, but for the most part, I just do one because we're gonna be covering this up with all kinds of sparkle. Yes, I used the Luxio base coat. I'm gonna use Luxio base, yay! Mailman just showed up with a giant box from Accents, I think. Do we have two? Uh, just that big Just that big one, yeah. not a second one? All right, we should have one more coming. Do you have any packages? Uh, nope, we took them all yesterday. We got a whole bunch going out soon. Yay, that might be our new 24K that just got delivered. I'm super excited. All right, so one coat of Captive. And I want to make sure it's a good coat again because I'm only going to do one coat here. Okay, go ahead and switch for me, please. Hi, Tammy. How you doing? So I typically will give my clients the color swatches and have them choose one color and then um, a chunky sparkle and then I'll pick a matching Aurora Sparkle to use as my glue. And I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. This captive has just a very subtle kind of a um, silver sparkle and it. it's really pretty. It's, it's the exact color of the Seahawk helmets or at least they were a couple years ago. They had this light sparkly blue. I did a picture of a newborn baby in a Seahawks helmet for one of the Seahawks and I looked at it and thought, oh, I have a polish this color. <laughs> it's a really cute picture. All right, go ahead and put that in the light, please. For the record, I'm a Cardinals fan. <gasps> <laughs> should I kick her out of the chair right now? I should. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use this yummy, yummy, yummy uh, blue Aurora Sparkle. It looks a little bit dark in this light, 
If I turn on the light that I normally have on for pedicures, though, everything looks a little bit yellow, so it's kind of hard. I don't want to mess that up, but you guys can see that's a really, really yummy, pretty blue sparkle. All right, I'm going to turn that down. So I'm just going to use, um, I have a 107 brush. So this is the smaller of the square brushes. So normally on hands, you guys see me using the 106 all the time. There's a chunky sparkle in there, big deal. Um, you guys normally see me using the 106 brush constantly. That's normally the one that I use for hands. But with toes, toes tend to be a little bit smaller. And so I go over and start using the 107 more often for toes just because it's, a little bit more toe sized, I guess you would say. I do use the 107 also for French, for doing smile lines. So this is the Aurora Blue, and what I'm doing with this is I'm just doing a thin coat, and this is actually my glue. This isn't even the rock star part of this, um, but it's my glue for my Chunky Sparkle. The Chunky Sparkle is what makes this crazy, ridiculously sparkly. Sorry, every time my phone rings, it makes the camera go away, so. All right, here we go. So before she goes in the light, I'm going to grab my Sparkles glitter. And I have a bunch of these in my store, um, but not online yet, but I will be getting them online. I had them at camp. They're just a bucket bag, so they're really awesome, but I need to take a lot of pictures and get them up online. So if you're in the area and you wanna shop, you can um, come pick them up. Otherwise, just hold tight, and soon I will have lots and lots of these Sparkles glitters. Lots of beautiful chunky loose glitters. This one's number 137 um, on my store. So I'm just going to dab into my pot and dab it onto the Aurora Sparkle. So the Aurora Sparkle is my glue. Yeah, Aurora Blue is fantastically beautiful. And you add this and you have true rock star caked in glitter toes. And so it's nice because of this Aurora Blue being um, kind of sticky, it really holds on to the glitter well. So it's not making a mess, not getting all over the place. Works really well. And after I cover the entire toe with the glitter that I want, um, you want to tap it in. Because these ones have the little shreds to them. And so when you work with these little shreds of glitter, they stick up. And you don't want to have to buff or deal with anything sticking up or bumpy toes. So look kind of down the barrel and just tap anything down that's sticking up. Good. All right, cure, please. Second toe, or second foot here. Oh, she bumped. So oh, I so notice sorry. that's okay. If I notice a client bumps a toe, I'll just grab a toe separator, and so that the next time it, we don't risk bumping it, we're good to go now. So no big deal, no stress. So I always start from um, left to the right. So. On this toe, I'll be starting with the big toe because otherwise I bump into things as I go. Hi, Kathy. Actually, I'm using Jessica's phone because she's over with a client so I can actually see her questions today. And then I can't because my contraption that holds my phone blocks them. Alright, so one coat of color, one coat of sparkle, and then press your chunky sparkles into your Aurora sparkles. So it's another good reason to have these awesome auroras. They are really, really good glue for chunky glitter. So just taking my brush and dabbing it in. See, 
See how that sticks up there? That's a good yeah. one. Right like that. And just tap that in. You can do this in top coat, but what I find is that to get that really super, super, super sparkly look, having the Aurora Sparkles as a base is just second to none. You cannot beat it. Becky says, I don't think I've had Aurora Blue. I bet you have. I bet I've done it on you at some point. Not sure when, but I like it, so I do it a lot. So the trick for a Rockstar Toe is to get all this glitter on, but still have it be perfectly smooth, right? You don't want your clients going two months and not have perfectly smooth toes. Yes, I said two months. Most of my toe clients go two months between toe appointments because at a month they're barely grown out, they can't see any grow out, and they still look perfect. So two months, they finally see some grow out, so they'll come in and we'll redo them, but they'll look perfect between the whole time. I go ahead and switch. So how do I get it perfectly smooth? What you wanna use is your Options Clear or Options Crystal Clear as your top coat. So I'm gonna grab Options Clear. It's a little bit thicker viscosity than regular top coat. And so when you apply it as your gloss, you get a perfectly smooth finish over your glitter without having any bumps, without having to buff, and it self levels beautifully so you don't have to worry about it being bumpy. And it's really, really shiny. So this is how we get perfect finish. And it is soak off, so if you do soak off on your toes instead of file off, which I know people do, I, I don't, because filing it off is so much faster. But if you do soak off, it will soak off. So, big toe, so I'm going to grab a nice good amount of this Options Clear. And just gloss it over the top. If you're pressing really hard when you're doing this and not floating it, you got too much pressure, you're not going to cover the toenail and have it be really smooth and get on top of that glitter. You want to just float it over the surface to get that perfectly smooth. And you can check your line of light, see if you need any dropped in anywhere as it smooths out. Did you guys see how shiny that is? So shiny. Okay, so I just check on these toes, see if there's anything that ran. Looks good. All right, go ahead and put that in. Again, I start with the big toe here. Then after she comes out of the light with this, I just file the ends of the toenail so they're all perfectly straight, so there's no gloss that came over the edge. Make sure everything's clean. I'm going to brush that on and it did look a little bit, um, it wasn't smooth yet, but you can keep moving on. It's going to continue to level out as you work on your other toes here. Then you can come back to the big toe and take a look at it and see if it needs any extra gel anywhere. But when you're working on clients, you got to keep on going. and shiny the little bit that ran over to the sides so I'm just gonna wipe that right out all right go ahead and switch for me please now all I've got to do is wipe and file the edges so this is a wipe it's not a no wipe shine on is our no wipe top gloss but in this kind of a situation if you were to use shine on you're probably gonna end up with a little bit more bumps than you um, are anticipating so I use uh, a metal file for toes so that I can throw it in my with my implements and get it disinfected. Just make sure that if it's a new metal file, you're real careful around the skin. But it 
gives me a nice solid straight line because they're really not as flimsy as paper file. Plus, you use it so little that it's just not cost effective to use um, a core file or a paper file. So using this kind of file and cleaning it is fantastic. So I do sell these. I have them, I believe, on my website. If not, I will get them up there soon because I do have them in stock in my store. They just might not be on the website. But they're fantastic for getting a nice straight toe. Just make sure that any sparkles that were hanging out over the edge gets filed down so that everything is perfectly smooth. Nothing's going to catch on anything. There we go. Alright, so this is how you get a beautiful, very shiny, very smooth rock star toe. One coat of color, one coat of aurora, and one coat of sparkle. There you go. Thanks, friends.